Welcome to Nina's Nest Crochet. I'm Linnean. If you're new here, hi. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming and spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me for Whip Wednesday. So today I do have some projects on my hook. Um, crochet time hasn't been the greatest lately, but you know, so life. But what I'm currently working on, I am loving these projects. Um, the first one I'm doing, this is going to be a birthday present for my daughter. Yes, she knows it's coming and yes, she's watching. Um, this is in my 12 year old sticker trapper keeper. Uh, it's called the Wonderlust Ruana. It's a pattern by um, the Plymouth Yarn Company. And that's, you know, what it's going to end up looking like. I print in black and white because who can afford color? But this is what I've got so far. Isn't this... Aren't these colors beautiful? This is a Karen cotton cake. Um, and the color is called Calico Flowers. And I am not color controlling. I am just letting it go. Letting it do its thing. But somehow it manages the majority of the fan stitches are in the yellow. And I, I didn't plan it that way. It just worked out that way, this cake. This is the uh, first panel. Um... I think I have one more row to go on this and then the first panel is done and then I have to redo this as a second panel and then you seam up the sides and seam up, no, not the front because it's an open front. So I guess you just seam up the sides for armholes. I think that, oh, and up the, up the back, I think. I don't know. I have to read the directions. <laughs> But there's seaming involved, and I don't mind. I don't mind doing seaming at all. So that is project number one. And I just, I love these colors. And this these cotton cakes, they're soft. This is going to have the perfect, I mean, it's very, you know, very, very holy. But it'll be perfect for the fall when she's wearing, you know, a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it or for the summer when she's wearing a tank top underneath it. So I love it. She, uh, she goes to a lot of craft fairs. She's a, a crafter and, um, this is the, the bohemian vibe of her, um, booth. And this will look so cute. Uh, the second one I'm working on is for Tanks and Tees 2023. Uh, this is the uh, Rocky Road crop top. Rusty Road. Rusty Road? Rocky Road? Rusty? Rusty? I don't know. It's an MJ off the hook. I'll put it in here. And this is the one I did in the, in the linen cotton blend. This is my Renegan tank top by Cactus and Lace. And I've got another Ren tank top around here uh, in my bedroom. But I wanted to do something in Tunisian. So I found the triangle, the Tunisian triangle pattern by Ruska. R-O-E-S-K-A is the name of the designer handmade by Ruska. Love this pattern. Loving how this is working out. It is, oops, let's get that string out of there. Look how gorgeous this pattern is on there. And all it is is putting uh, knits and pearls in the right places. I have one more section of 12 rows to go before you start uh, shaping for this, the, uh, shoulders. Tunisian is slow going, but I, I just, I love this. I love this color. This is soft pink in Kubu. 
This is a really soft yarn. It's working up really great in this pattern. You can see the stitch definition so well. I just, I love this. I, I'm, this is what I spent last night doing. I finished up that second section of, there's, you have to do three sections of 12 rows till you get to before you start. So I just finished last night the second section of 12 rows and I'm gonna start the next section here when I get back from running my errands this afternoon. So that is my tu Tunisian Triangle Shaw for Tanks and Tees 2023. Um, I've gotten so many emails, so many posts on Facebook. Uh, some of the things people are making are amazing. And it's like my to-do list is getting longer and longer with each post. I was like, now I want to make that one. No, now I want to make that one. Oh, look how cute that one is. Can I combine some of that with some of this? Oh, anyway, I, I'm loving everybody's submissions. They are beautiful. If you are participating in Tanks and Teas and want to participate in the drawing... I am drawing for three winners, the uh, one for a tank, one for a tee, and those will be a random draw. And then everybody is eligible for best in show, and that is going to be judged by some people, not me. I am not, part, I am not one of the judges. I have three people separate from me who, well, not separate from me, um, but people that I know who are going to be the judges and they're going to award best in show. So we'll be giving away three prizes. How do you enter your submission? You email me your picture, you uh, tag tanks and tees 2023 on Instagram or on our private Facebook group, our private Facebook group. The link to that is listed below. You have to answer the three questions in order to be included into the private Facebook group. If you don't answer the questions, my um, moderators and administrators will not let you in. And then you can't enter that way. But it's, a, it's, there's three simple questions. I don't want any personal information. It's just simple questions, follow the rules. And then in your submission, put the hashtag tanks and tees 2023 so that I can find them easier and you're entered. So if you have any questions about that, my email's listed below. Shoot me an email or message me on Facebook. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. If you're having a question about your tea or your tank and you're having an issue with where, you know, this seeming or whatever, let me know. I'll be glad to help you through. I've made two Ren tank tops. I've made three of these so far. So I'm not a perfect person. I am not an expert by any means. I just play one on TV, but I, I'll help you out to the best of my ability. How's that? And that leads me to my last uh, whip. This is a shawl that I am making. Um, I wanted something with a little bit of color to wear to graduation. Uh, graduation for my granddaughter is going to be an evening affair, which like starts at like six o'clock. By the time it's done, it's after eight, the sun's gone down and it's going to be chilly. It's in Northwest Indiana. It, it might be chilly when we start. Um, I'm wearing a dark blue dress and I wanted something with a little color and uh, I went round and round and round and round and round what I wanted. I could not find the shawl that I was looking for. I wanted something long, you know, as long as my wingspan. Um, not necessarily a triangle that's going to, you know, point down to, you know, my butt. I wanted a crescent shaped shawl, but I didn't want the, the holes where you differentiate each panel. And then I remembered I did a Shaw um, for my granddaughter not too long ago for prom where you started with the crescent shape where you started small, 
tapered, you know, got real big to the middle and then tapered back off and then you turned it and then you worked the edge in a different stitch along the long lengthways. So I'm like, okay, let me, but I don't really want to do that when I didn't like the, the trim on it. So I looked and looked again and I couldn't find anything. And I thought, well, you know what? I can, I have my stitch dictionary. I can figure this out. So then it was like, okay, what yarn am I going to use? I didn't want to use wool. I didn't want to use acrylic. I wanted cotton, bamboo, something. And then I remembered I had, when I had gone shopping with Nancy at Joanne's, I got this big twist Vista. And this is uh, 56 cotton, 35 acrylic, 9% uh, polyamide nylon. And this is soft. It is springy. The color I have currently is, I think it's called Tide Pool. And it's peach and orange and gray and tan. And I just thought, oh, how summery and beachy this looks. I love this yarn with all of my fiber and being. I have got to get more of this. So here's what I've done so far. I've made the middle section, you know, the section for the, the crescent shape. I did alternating rows of half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet until I was, you know, big wide in the middle here. And what I did is I measured my wingspan from fingertip to fingertip, divided that in half. So I did inches of this, of the, of the first section. So I did I think it, 62 inches from finger to finger. I had my husband measure me. So I did 31 inches to the center and then 31 inches to the end. It may not be exact, but it's ish. So that's, I did that. And that part went fast because it was double crochet, single crochet. So now I've got that big middle section and I am not color controlling at all. I think this is where I started was with this blue. And then it just kind of went until, you know, it changed colors, changed colors. So now, and I ended up so that I was at this end and I just, the next section I did was just like a, a, a mesh uh, fisherman net. I did 10 rows of that. So that, you know, is the next section across the bottom. And I'm going to have to maybe black it a little bit. It depends on how heavy this bottom section is so that you can really see the mesh section. And then I did, I started a section of fans. And I'm going to go probably 10 or 12 rows of the fan. And that will be the bottom of the shawl. It won't be you know, way down my back, but it's going to be enough to, oops, to, I was, ah, okay. Disaster one, number one. Look at this. I am covered in yarn, ah, but it's going to be, <laughs> see bloopers, no editing. Um, it's just going to be enough to throw over my shoulders when it's chilly. And be cute enough that it's, you know, it's, obviously it's not big enough yet, but it's going to be, it's going to be able to come down far enough down the front. It'll come down far enough down the, I'm hoping it'll come down to about here when I get all the fans done. That's my goal is to get it to come down to about my elbows. And this yarn is all over me again. <clears throat> it. You know, if I scrunch this up and throw it in a, in my purse, it'll be fine. It's just cotton, nylon, acrylic blend. And it's soft and it's spring and the colors are gorgeous. Uh, 
I think I'll be hitting Joann's today to see if they have any more of this. I've noticed on, uh, I went, I was going to order like to do a pickup and they say they're in limited stock. This is a number one fingering weight, super fine. They suggest a 2.75 uh, millimeter hook. I'm using a 4.0. Um, there are 705 yards in each one of these cakes. I have three currently, but I might have to, with what I have planned for this, I might have to dip into the second one um, to finish this. The colors were so pretty. I thought I would order some and the color that I wanted, it was like the sage green blends and they are out of stock everywhere on that one. Um, they had some blues and some pinks. So I'm going to stop at the Ocala uh, Joann's and see what they have. They, they wouldn't let me put it in my cart for uh, site pickup, curbside pickup, because they have such limited stock. So I'm just going to have to go and see what they've got. But I love this yarn. It is fabulous. I'm sad that you cannot get more of this. I hope this isn't a one-time deal because this is really, really nice yarn. So this is my Frankenshaw. I'm, I'm just kind of putting it all together. I don't know. I don't know if it's somebody's, uh, if somebody else has done something like this. Or something similar. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to enter this in um, Crystal Bag o Days uh, contest where you design your own thing because she said she would take shawls because they're wearable. So I'm thinking that this might be my submission for that. I don't know yet. Maybe. We'll see how it turns out at the end. If, it, if it's if it turns out the way I like it. So far I'm liking it and I'm I I love my yarn choice. So that is it. So that is my last whip for Whip Wednesday. Um if you guys have any questions about tanks and teas, let me know. If you're enjoying tanks and teas, let me know. I want to know if you're participating, if you're having a good, good time with it, leave a comment below. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to let you get back to your Wednesday. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Um, have a great week. And until I see you on Friday, be kind to everyone.